Apparently you don't like this word timer. Why? <laughs> dead is a fixer of all. It's more okay. like father, uh, dead, and a new time. Yeah. Being a father, you are nothing but a boy. The kids are the end. That's the time. I'm only just a guy putting together the pieces of the best trampoline that I can so that you guys can jump higher. Yo, sure. I'm a kid who went through um, like anxieties and depressions very early. Okay. Mm, in life. He didn't have a dad who knew how to deal with that. Oh. Sure. Our relationship with my father started post my mom's death. You see? You've become a father I wanted to be. Sure. Mm. This is Titimba, and welcome to the series here, like Daima, like in Dwana, where my dad and I get to speak to various dads and sons. We have very frank, fun, uh, family-related conversations with different fathers and sons. Sialungi is our fit. We are fixing the relationship between the father and the son, the nephew and the uncle, the grandfather and the grandson. Maui out here, out there, you've got a dad that you want to bring onto the show, you've got a son you want to bring onto the show. This is the platform. Hey, sir. Hey, hey, hey. Sharp is it? Sharp. Great. Who you are? Sharp, sharp. Hey, sir. Mm -hmm. So what's happening today? Uh, so today, um, we've got uh, Tabo Mukweli uh, from KFM and his son. I've been mm -hmm. thinking a lot about uh, like what, what are we going to talk about, yeah. uh, Libo and all of that. And as I was coming through, I just thought, you know, we need to unpack the difference between what a father is yeah. and what a dad is. What a dad is, yeah. Because sometimes can I look type I, even on my socials, get it, my dad, sometimes my father. Mm. So it'll be interesting to have a conversation about To find out if there is yeah. any difference. Oh, my ego and now you should be Nah, there. man, it's just your time, time, man. Just my time, man. Uh, yeah. your time, man. Okay, sure. Yeah, I think yeah. they're already I'm, here. Arba, Arba, time, man. Let's go. My name is Tabo Mukwili, known as well as Tibos, aka Uncle T, an endearment term that I have uh, so much adopted and loved. And I'm a broadcaster, and I just recently added author uh, to my titles. That's what I do. One of the hardly uh, celebrated relationships, actually, mm. father and son. Yeah. Yeah, and when he tells you, while you're still alive, you're my Superman. Tama, get Tibos. No, I thought Ntoana and then... No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, what are you saying about me? Ah, uh, Mara. Kwa wana loe. Good timer. So remember, uh, it's the Tabo Mukwele. So, uh, Tabo, the, the, the whole premise of the show is really to have frank conversations mm -hmm. with fathers and sons. And the topic uh, that we've obviously decided to focus on for this particular episode is the difference between a father and a dad. Um, is there a difference? Uh, my dad has got a, a different opinion. Is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would love to hear what Mr. Uh, Bias would say. Do you want to share with, with, with two us? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I do believe that uh, a father is more biological. Mm. You know, um, he can have the finances required, for instance, to take his child, to the boy to, to, to school, but there's no presence. Mm. Whereas a dad, a dad, he doesn't necessarily have to have money. He's always present in the son's life. Yeah. Example, he will be a counselor. He will be a teacher. Mm -hmm. He will be... A friend. A friend. Mm -hmm. In other words, a dad is a fixer of all. For me, dad is the crown that comes after the role. Being a father, you are nothing but a bow. Mm. The kids are the arrow. Mm. Yours is to stretch them mm. and stretch yourself enough to so as you go. pull, but aiming them to the target. But whether they hit, hit the target is no longer your responsibility. It's, right. the on them. it's on them. You've given them the stability yeah. to flourish. Mm. To flourish. Sure. And the momentum to flourish. Yeah. You and I, mm. We are the generation of fathers who are taking forth 
what was missed mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're giving it to our children. Right. right. <coughs> uh, a case in point, my father comes from a polygamous family. Okay. Mm -hmm. From one of the youngest wives. And me and him having a chat, we only started having deep chats mm -hmm. after I got married, not before. Sure. So he then says, and this is the first compliment outside my achievements. He looked at me and then there was a little bit of silence and he says to me, Tao. And I look up, he says, you've become a father I wanted to be. Sure. Mm. The point he was confessing. In his own way. In his own way yeah. to say, I wanted to be this for you. Yes, I'm proud of you. But because I didn't know from which cup to pull from, yeah. because my cup was empty, <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't have an example. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I, I no, no formula, no benchmark. No benchmark. Nothing to refer to. Exactly. Sure. So as I'm saying is we are rewriting that mm. for our kids. Absolutely. How was your relationship with your dad? Our relationship with my father started post my mom's death. Oh, sure. As in to strengthen. Yeah. Not in, not strengthen because it was there, but to be to get the, you know, the flesh to the bone. Yeah. Yeah. The day I cried, he was there. The day I triumphed, he was there. The day I spoke to him about my first heartbreak, he was there. Obviously. Now, besides the question around the, the, the real connection between you and the Topi, would you believe that uh, flowing from that and other things, that you believe your dad was, say, a model for you? Sure. Um, mm. it's, a, it's a very important question you're mm. asking. I write about it in my book. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a mm -hmm. chapter called Do Better Than Your Father. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Not because you don't like what he has done, because he's the benchmark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his ambition is for you to be better than him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if the current generation doesn't raise the next generation to be better than itself, it has failed. Mm -hmm. You ask me today, is Jonas Mukwili your father? I'm not going to say yes. I'm going to say, oh, well, that's my dad. Ah. Mm. Because I now see mm. where I am based mm. on how he raised me. And I'm True. saying it is my responsibility to see his legacy mm. slash lessons mm. and use them so that my son can therefore even rise a, a little yes. bit further than that. See, I want to speak to your, to your son, yeah. and mm. I want to hear what he has to say about you. Mm. Yeah. Um, what Are there certain things that you, you can never discuss with, with your son? To him, I remember when I taught him one of the harshest lessons about life. Mm. It was so difficult for me. I even walked into his room and I sat down and I said, I think you're ready. I don't know if you are, but I think you are. Mm. And I said, boy, you must know no one owes you anything. And he was in his like teens. I mean, I think it was like 12. Mm. And I was like, let me plant this seed now so that mm. he understands when he goes out in the world, mm. he's not going out to be liked. Yeah. yeah. He's, to be going, he's going into the world on some, I want to experience what this life is going to throw at me yes. today. Mm. I like that. Let's chat to your son. We'll see you later. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah. So much wisdom in here. My name is Tabo T. Mugwele, and I am 19 years old. I am currently a second year law student. My parents are Mapaseka Mugwele and Tabo Tibos Mugwele. They're both radio presenters. I would describe my dad as cool, serious, informative, and funny. What I represent in life is somebody who can make it through emotional turmoil and still go through life. Tom, what's going on? Hey, Tom. What's going on? Nah, good to sure. see you. Are you comfortable? Okay. 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 Okay the time I is wrong. How old are you? Let's start there. I'm 19 going on 20 this year. You're 19. Are yeah. you are you the first son? 
No, I'm the second. Oh, you're the second yeah. son. How's the relationship with your dad? It's good. Ah. It's good. It's a lot of growth from, you know, from young until now. Yeah. Mm. So the thing about it is that as you grow, you have to evolve with your father-son relationship, you know? Right. Yes. Because then there's different needs, there's different personalities, there's all of those things that change. I of mean, course. Th you need something different when you're, when you're nine and when you're 19 and when you're 29, or, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It, it goes like that. Well, my dad and I were chatting early on before you arrived and, you know, I was like, you know, I, I want us to dig deeper into this notion um, or comparison between what a father is mm -hmm. and what a dad is. Mm -hmm. and, and I've got my own opinion. Mm -hmm. He's, he's mind, got his yeah. own opinion. Mm -hmm. And of course, want to find out what yeah. your, your opinion is around that. Do you think there's a difference? And if so, what is it in, in your I think, opinion? I think there's three levels. It's more three. like... Three? Yeah, it's more okay. like father, uh, dad, and then the time. Yeah, mm. yeah. The father, thing. dead, the timer. I unpack it. Unpack it. Father, first. father, seed giver. Yay! Okay, cool. You gave the seed to make the pregnancy begin. It's happened. Okay. Right? Mm. And then dad is more the disciplinarian. This is the rules of the house. Okay. You don't play with me doing this, 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 this. Okay. Mm. The timer is the guy that says to you, "I've been, in, I've been in your shoes in this situation. Yeah. Mm. This is how we should deal with this. Let's sit down." Let the timer, Leo. The timer is the guy who sits you down and says, "Okay." Why are you feeling pain? Let's unpack it. Lynn and I had my own experience. You guys can compare. Yeah. Or Lynn now when I was 19, so, 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 so. That's the time. What, what, do, you, what do you call your dad? Umita Papa. 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 Mm. He, hates, he hates it when I call him time. W w why? <laughs> He's like, am I, am I a clock? Do I go oh, so, so, time, <laughs> so, so time sounds old. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I think it maybe it's the old part, but he doesn't like being called uh, time. time. I refer to other people, so I refer to him to other people as the As the like. Yeah. And your dad, or your father, or your timer, where, where is he? Where does he fall in, in, in these three categories? He, he does them all. I mean, so he does them all? I mean, the, fa the father part is basic, it's the seed. Yeah. yeah. But I know that there's a disciplinarian <coughs> in the house. I yeah. know that there's rules that we have to abide by. And yeah. I know that there's a certain standard of everything. Yeah. But I can also say to him, hey, pa, I need us to have a man-to-man -man chat. As the timer. As the timer. Right. And as the one. That's right? right. Yeah. And say, hey, bah. And about, about different things. Sometimes it'll even be something taboo. I'll be like, yo, bah, I need to have a sex conversation with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. This is what's the case. What do you do in this certain type of situation? Sure. That's the time. Sure. Would there be any thinking of any difference of opinion between you and your father? And how do you resolve those? Yeah. I mean, I think... <coughs> How I learned to understand that is because then Papa put down a, a template of you need to do better than me. Mm -hmm. He said yeah. you need to. I need to. So there's no If I don't do better than him, I have failed. Sure. Mm -hmm. So his dad didn't necessarily have the emotional know-how, right? Mm. He did better than his dad. Mm. So where I feel that he needs to do better, that's what I need to do as a dad. We can only undo... The, mm. the, the, the misuse of parenting done to other people through exactly. time. Through time. I like that. Because then it's a thing of, remember, I need to do better than my dad. Mm. Right? My kids need to do better than me. But doesn't that put pressure on you as, as, a, as, a, as a son to say... When you don't understand it. Okay. When you okay. understand it, it's like, okay, but all he's saying is that he's just propelling me to a new level. It's mm. inspiring. He set the tone. Exactly. Yeah. When it's when you don't when you don't get it and you don't have the maturity of it, oh, so if Papa will let the PhD in that get as you can't approach. What's the most painful thing you've been through with your dad? She didn't understand my emotions at a point. How old were you? Fourteen. And what 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 was that lack of understanding about? So I'm a kid who went through um, like anxieties and depressions very early. Okay. Mm, in life. He didn't have a dad who knew how to deal with that. Oh. Sure. So as much as I'm going through a learning curve, yeah. he's also going through a learning curve. Yes, sure. So at some point, then there'll be a tussle. He didn't have a template that you have now. So he also had to go through a learning curve mm -hmm. and be like, okay, so Ntanaka Uchoso. And he's feeling like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, how do I deal with this? So you see what like he was also learning from that. Sure. Mm. So that was probably the, the most painful thing. Because then it's it's I think I can speak for any parent. Yeah. You mm. tell your you, you tell your parent that as your child I'm having suicidal thoughts, they're not gonna take it light. Mm. Sure. So you had that conversation with them yeah, to say, I've got suicidal yeah, 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 thoughts. You, and that was like an early point, right? Mm. Yeah. At 14. Yeah. 
it was a it was those a crazy. Consents were raised. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you alerted him of those. He yes. Knew. So he knew about them. But then it was a different conversation for oh, him. To know that. He never had that conversation with anybody. Yeah. And of course, there's a learning curve. Uh, the instances like the disagreements, the differences mm -hmm. in approach. Mm -hmm. That probably would be one of the things that you'd want to instill as a lesson to your kids. Yeah. You don't deal with, I mean, your, 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 your kids sometimes, especially where there is anger. Yeah. Like perhaps you, I mean, you, you learned your lesson. Yeah. And from that lesson, he learned his lesson mm -hmm. in terms of how he should deal with you. I, I literally feel like it was as painful as an experience for me, it was as painful as an experience. Exactly. Not two times worse. Exactly. Yeah. Because then it was, it. You know, what it, you know what it is as men? I think we can, we can sometimes take things the complete wrong way. Mm. You tell your father that no, on all anxiety, you, you, now, you, now the first thing you're thinking is maybe my son is weak, what did I do? Mm. When actually that's not the case. Yeah. Yeah. He's being human. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But because as black men, what do we do? I end up, I mean. No. I must never You must not cry. Weakness. Don't show anything. Ti tigers you don't cry. Never, uh, uh, when your mother, you when your mother dies, you weep three seconds yeah. and you go back. And then you, 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 yeah. Have you seen your dad cry? You've seen him cry. Yeah. And has he seen you cry? Yeah. Have you seen me cry? <laughs> I needed to ask that question. Twice, I needed to ask yeah. that question. Have you cried? No. Ah, yeah, this one hides it very well. I think the, the good thing is... He's been hiding it. He's been hiding it. Hines man hides it. No, I've seen, I've, seen my dad, I've seen my dad cry out of frustration, mm -hmm. anger, sadness, and happiness. So I've seen all the essential moments yeah. Yeah. of that. Yeah. So, I, and I think it, it, makes, it makes it easier for me to feel. Because and then, then when Gifra, because then guys, yo, sometimes life can really yeah, laugh. Yeah, of course, just, and you have to let go. Yeah, so yeah. then, and then now you're just looking down mm. and you're like, okay, mm. but I'm not less manly. Yeah, by crying. Yeah. Yeah. I get it, my dad, he's, he's shown me that now you can have this. You can, mm. you can actually close your door, cry, and then get out. Mm -hmm. And then when you come out, now you're ready to face the problem. Mm. So the only thing that he said to me that, okay, Shop, you can go, you can cry, you can take your time. Mm. Mara, when you get out that room, yo. you're fighting that thing. So we've had a, a, a discussion with both of you separately, yeah. uh, as in Dwana and Taima, yeah. and now we're bringing it all together. You know, there's a lot of things that you both said separately about each other mm -hmm. um, and about the topic at hand, which is, is there a difference between a father and a dad? Yeah. So yes. I just, wanna, I just want maybe to give it to you guys, to, maybe to you as, as, as the son, yeah. um, to really talk about how important it is to have, have, to have a father figure. Yeah. Who's present um, mm. in your life in and your who's life. who's not just a father but a dad and a time you I mean you yeah, went yeah, yeah. you went quite deep yeah. in, 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 in that spot in that space. No, I think it helps with identity more than anything. I have an identity. I know that I, okay, at least I have a sounding board that looks like me, acts mm. like me, and has the characteristics that I have. Yeah. So I don't now have to open up a whole different cupboard and nitpick, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like yes. so it not, it kind of feels like okay. I feel like I'm going off the rails. Okay, but what do we do? Yeah. What needs to happen? Yeah. Why is it like this? Wait, why can't I do this? So even when I see the correct action in mannerisms, it's so quick and it's so easy to internalize it because then you have a present father, yeah. a present timer, a present dad. A benchmark. Yeah, you have a, yeah. You have a benchmark, you have a, an example to be better than yeah. as well. Yes, absolutely. You know, so to elevate on top of that. Mm. So it helps with my identity more than anything. I think, I think for me, you know, it's beautiful to watch, you know, how you guys have navigated um, mm -hmm. through your relationship. And I think communication is obviously the most important thing. How old was he when you started having those serious conversations with him? Sure. Do you remember? 10? He, 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 yeah. 10, yeah. 10, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. That's when like Papa was really like, okay, dude, listen, mm -hmm. we need you to be responsible. At 10. Yeah, 10, 11 sure. was like when it was like, okay. The reason why Kyochikilo how it's so yeah. is because it does one, two, three, four. So you can understand. It was so it was like where it's coming yeah. from. Apparently, you don't like this word timer. <laughs> no, I don't. Why? <laughs> and my dad made me understand it. And if I remember him saying, "I'm glad you never used that word on me, because I'm not there by the gate timing you." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, English. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. Six. 
Oh, it's half past five now. Ah, so fit. Let's see. Yeah. Time. Yeah. The time and the time. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that. So I wanna I wanna play something for you. Oh. Um that hey, I want you to, a good song I hope. To, mm. to, well, I mean you I'm sure you've got enough good good songs in your Ah in but your you never collection. know. You never know. It in might your, surprise in, me. In, in, in your collection. So I just wanna do you wanna just click on that and just play it for your dad? It's this one. What? This this oh, one. Oh this one. And then let him let him watch it. <coughs> oh flip, that's me. That's you, oh, yeah. Hectic. That's why he must watch hectic. it. Hectic. Hectic. Mm. Yeah, hey, it's got to wind up. Uh, hey, I get a mustard. Oh. There you go. Press on the space bar. Something that I want to tell my dad that I haven't said before. Um, I honestly feel you don't give yourself enough credit. I honestly think that uh, you are very, very hard on yourself. And I wish you could see us or see how great we see you. I think that's the best way to put it. So. I know that that's, how, that's the type of message to maybe bring a tear to the eye, but I know that you work really hard, and I want you to know that we love you harder as a family, especially me as your son. So, yeah. Um, that's more like what I, what I feel like we haven't spoken about, is that like, when I have a hardworking spirit, it's because I see how hard you work. So you must know that the perseverance comes from you. Wow, man. <coughs> man <I> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Stop chopping onions now. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. No, but you know, I don't want you to copy me. Please don't. I'm doing this so that you have a, a better trampoline than I had. Mm. Than I ever had. Because I'm working hard so that you guys don't start on your minus. Mm. No, no, I don't want that. I want you guys to start in a positive. Mm. When I achieve it, only good news. But my issue is, I don't want a situation where you don't have weekends. Mm. I'm pushing this hazard that you can have weekends. Mm. Because there comes a time, and I know you're going to give me the one case. Oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 Got you. But you know, the last thing I want is to know that you are toiling and bleeding to keep that going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm only, I'm only just a guy putting together the pieces of the best trampoline that I can so that you guys can jump higher yeah. and have it better. Sure. You know? Go. Yeah. Deep. <clears throat> I don't even know what to say. Yeah. But, uh, I just want to take this moment to thank you guys for coming through. I think, you know, whoever's going to be watching this will remain inspired by the importance of a father and a son relationship, yeah. a nephew and an uncle relationship, yeah. whatever the dynamic is. And for me, I, I remain inspired to actually have the opportunity to sit with the two of you and get to marvel at the relationship you have and how early you started. And it's, it's encouraging for a lot of other fathers who are out there to actually start early with having those conversations with our sons um, and just as a token of our appreciation for your time we've prepared some uh, like, oh, kind of wow. like donor gifts hey. that we just wanna hey. gift. Yeah, just, I might steal yours as well this guy steals my shoes and are you guys the same size? <laughs> yeah. no, 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 he can't <laughs> have the <laughs> argument I have a bigger shoe size than he does. So in my shoes, thank I God, go. he steals my shoes. Time, God, time of God no. has us. Are you guys the same size? Yes. No, oh. I'm a bigger size. So I can't even steal hey, his shoes. Hey, it's our fate. Winter is coming. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, coming. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Well, he took the white <laughs> one. And then there's some uh, mugs. Oh, there's some when you guys, when you guys. Oh, uh, for the best tea in the when, city. When, when you guys yeah. uh, yeah. have. Uh, Coffee or tea in the morning. So now you know when I say uh, my coffee. Yeah. 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 Chance, thank you so much. Thank you, thank so you much. for your time. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you. As bog. Baba woman. Throughout my life, you try to teach me lessons that I've learned only later. Unfortunately, I've learned them past your your time. Thank you so much. The lessons learned, the lessons taught, that I'm even 
able to pass on to my sons. Baba, in short, what you were trying to do was build me up as a man. And all I left was bitter words and bitter actions. Today I'm a better man because of your teachings. Gabon.